Alright guys, it's week 17 and I have a slight cold, but anyways, um, we're down to our last game of the year and the Packers are now 10 and 5. Let's take a quick look at the schedule. So, team schedule, you'll see that we're riding high after beating the Lions. For the second time 34 to nothing and then we stunk it up against the Buccaneers, and we lost a close one to the Bears giving them the division the Bears are the division leaders the division winners after being two and something last year and having the sec second pick overall the Bears have won the division and we played the Saints who do not have Drew Brees or they're, that's a beat up team, but yeah, so the Bears there, they uh, got that court, quarterback, Paul Akers, just just played better than Aaron Rodgers and uh, got them the win. <clears throat> so there we go. So and if we look at the, pl uh, we don't want to look at that. To look at the standings. So let's just do the NFL, the NFC standings. The 14 and one Cowboys, uh, 12 and three Seahawks have clinched home field advantage. The Bears, yeah, I guess that is home field advantage. The Bears, the Rams, and the Packers have all clinched the playoff spot. And the fourth seed will be the Panthers, the Bucks, or the Saints. The Falcons look like they're eliminated. The Cowboys here. Oh, I guess I can't click on them here. So let's go to the Cowboys roster. Cowboys, baby. And that, and that offensive line, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to build a big, huge offensive line. But they got this guy. So Dylan Gunn has taken over for... Tony Romo and, and Dak Prescott, and he is stats. Let's take a look at this. 35 touchdowns and 6 interceptions with 10 sacks and a 61% completion rating is pretty phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal. So, uh, I don't know when he was drafted. Maybe I do. Oh, maybe, maybe I can look. Does it say picks? No, that's... No, it doesn't say, huh? Oh, you know what? I bet you it says on his on his card. Right. Right, 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 somewhere. Um no. Traits. Awards. First round pick number twenty-nine. So he's wow. He was taken a wait late in the first round. That's amazing. Three offensive player of the weeks. Oh man. My the Cowboys. Amazing. Okay, what else did I want to look at? Oh, also. Um, since we saw who's gonna be in the playoffs, look at look at this. And Byron Maxwell won't be in available for us, but this is this one hurts too. Oops. The Seahawks. Richard Sherman and Russell Wilson are going to be out for a long period of time. So that makes them a little more toothless. Oh, you know, the other thing I want to show you is under stats. And now this isn't final yet, but I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Yearly awards. Aaron Rodgers is leading the league MVP candidate so that's pretty awesome third passer rating isn't that great but his touchdowns and interceptions are pretty good so scouting my players let's think about let's play this final game let's take a look at the final 
game. Welcome, welcome to week 17 of the Packers uh, season finale, but they're in the playoffs, so it's not really the season finale. It will be the Cleveland Browns versus the Green Bay Packers. Here we are, historic Lambeau Field, season finale, looks like a sold out crowd. Packers are excited, warm up game before they go into the playoffs. The Browns have improved tremendously, but I believe they are not in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers getting everybody fired up, getting ready for the playoffs. He's had no injuries today, that's what he's saying. Leslie Fraser probably shouldn't be the head coach. Eddie Lacy's fired up. Looks like he's in shape. Didn't eat too much. Nice job, Eddie. So, there we go. Let's get this started by taking a look sorry <laughs> oh I didn't get rid of that one it's the sneeze that killed us all Ryan Fitzpatrick is out Kiwan Williams Keith Marshall let's take a look at the depth chart for the Browns Cody Kessler. I'm sorry about that. This cold. Charles Sims the third. Huh. Will Talawafu. Corey Coleman. Ronja Casey. Hey, look at that. Got a little rookie action going on there. Craig Barnage. Joe Thomas, the 99. This offensive line. Patrick Lewis. Lawrence Guy. Wow. Danny Shelton. Yeah, there's a. It's alright, I guess, huh? Joe Hayden. John Swift. A lot of replacements there, huh? Hey, what's the quarterback? I don't see Deshaun Kaiser anywhere. Oh, that's interesting. Super Sim this game. Low mo super sim end of the game. That's so not true, but here is the kickoff. Week 17. Short kick. Field. Ooh, made a miss. Nice job. Look at that. That was Dre Archer. Comes Aaron Rodgers. Let's take a look at his stats. Hopefully he makes it through the game with a couple more touchdowns and an MVP. 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 Alright. I gotta be honest, I don't want to spend a lot of time watching this because we're going to be watching a lot of playoff games. So, see you later. So just as a quick note, even though I said I was going to do this, I pulled all the starters just about out and it's all the backups. So, alright, I give this game to the Browns. But it should be interesting to see how the backups do. Well, as predicted, the Browns beat the Packers. Cody Kessler had a good game, and Joe Calhoun did not. Three interceptions, rushing. Eddie Lacy got in the game. I was too lazy to take him out. So Eddie Lacy was my leading running back. Receiving, Trey Nelson, Jeff Janis, the rest of them. Defensively, you can see that I just pulled out. Almost every starter, just to see how it would work. No one got hurt, thankfully. And I hope it didn't affect my my position on the, in the playoffs, because eh, that'd be pretty funny. Ah, I actually lost, and now I'm out of the playoffs. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll have to fix I think I have to fix it make sure that all the everybody's in the right position or if it just went back see Brian Balaga black backs up every position now he's the universal man um, well, I guess I have to sim to the next week huh 
All right, let's do that. Let's go to the next week. Chance the wild card round. Here we go. Sim that stuff up. And I gotta head out. Ooh, we're gonna play the Bears in the first round. See, I might have made a mistake then, huh? Let's take a look at the playoff schedule. Packers at Bears, Rams at Panthers. So maybe winning would have been a good idea. Then we would have played the four seed. So we're the six seed. Oh, I bet you I made a mistake there. Potentially drop in the game there. Hmm. Bad coaching decision. All right. Well, we get to play the Bears again for the third time. We lost both games. And uh, we'll see what happens. Goodbye. Look at this. I think the I think the Madden game is broken. Like I don't think that's right because if the Rams, the Panthers are the sixth seed, the Packers are the fifth seed, the fifth seed plays the fourth seed, the Rams, the Bears, are the are the third seed. So yeah, that is not right at all. So, hmm. Broken, broken. I bet you they need to patch that. Like, like I haven't patched the game yet, so I bet you that's what's wrong with it. Take that back. I just figured it out. The Panthers are the fourth seed, therefore losing to the. Yep. I would have had to play at the Panthers instead of at the Bears. What a bummer. Boy, oh boy, did I make some mistakes here by pulling Aaron Rodgers and and uh, the starting lineup and losing the game, it pushed me down to the sixth seed, which now I have to face the Chicago Bears versus facing Carolina. It's just, now it's, you gotta go through Dallas, the number one seed if we win, and uh, it's just not the way to get to the playoffs. It was not a smart move on my part. The other part was that Blake Bortles won the MVP, even though Aaron Rodgers was ahead of him going into Week 17. Aaron Rodgers only threw two passes, and then Blake Bortles won the MVP. I don't know how many players on my team I cost Pro Bowls by pulling them because I was worried they were going to get hurt. I should have just... I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard to say. What we're going to do now is we're going to get started with the, the playoff game, and... Um, It'll be Chicago versus Green Bay in Chicago. Uh, this is our starting lineup here. Everybody seems to be good to go defensively. This is going to be uh, Clay Matthews' last run at left end, and I'm going to move him back to linebacker um, because I'm just going to get a different left end or let Dante Jones. I just think this is a big waste of Clay Matthews' Clay Matthews' uh, skills. So... But let's get this game started, play the whole game. This is a super sim, slow-mo, the entire game, except for punting, because I think punting is broken. Oh, look, we have a better overall than the Bears. We'll be back to uh, look at the starting lineups. It's a snowy day in uh, Soldier Field here. The Bears are excited. Packers have been here before. The Bears were the second worst team last year, and here they are. The division champs, 12-4 and four record. What a, what one pick can make a huge difference for a team. C Coach Patterson's disappointed with his, his bad decision during the Browns game. He really, really realizes that he made a big mistake there. Big mistake. Let's get this started here with a, super, with a look at the injury reports. Byron Maxwell, worst signing in my short career. Oh, hey, look at that. And then Trey T. McRae. Oh, two centers. Wow. Um, Brandon Meebane. I don't think this is any of their really high-end players. Let's take a look at their starting lineup players. There he is. Number two pick overall. Jay Cutler backing him up. A running back. Look at that. Now they got a running back that's an 81. Now Sean Jeffrey and three mediocre wide receivers behind him. 
Jared Cook, the former Packer, coming back to haunt his team. Let's check out this offensive line so far. Good center. Not a very good offensive line, so we should have a good time there. Ooh. Left end is... Is that the right end that was playing? No, oh, they just don't have a good right end. You see that uh, Jarrell Freeman retired today? Good, good linebackers. Should be able to pick on these corners. There we go. That's it. Let's take a let's take a run at this kickoff and see what we get. Oops. Should do this. Snowy day. Here goes the kickoff. Packers are on defense first. Mason Crosby, who now has quick development. He, he got to the Pro Bowl and got quick development. 32 years old. He feels old, but he's not really that old, I guess, in kicker terms. So, all right, Paul Akers. There we go. 28 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, less than a 16% completion 60% completion pass rating. So I wouldn't call it great, but better than Jay Cutler, apparently. So, all right, let's check out this new running back on this running play here. Ooh, Clay Matthews. He tried to juke out Clay Matthews, but Clay didn't have nothing to do with that. He set him down quickly. Packers offensive line, except for Kyle Long. The rest of them are not the greatest. Is Kyle Long really a, a center? Maybe. All right, second down and eight for the Bears. Quick snap, handoff. Ooh, big hole up the middle. Ooh, spins for a first down. There we go. The rookie gets a first down. All right, so uh, we'll be back with some highlights or some uh, action near the goal line if it gets to that point. All right, check this out. Jared Cook gets himself a touchdown against this former team. He says, this is what you get for trading me. And the Packers were helpless to stop their offense. They just ran the ball down the field and just not good. Not good. We just don't have the defensive tackles that are big run stoppers, I guess. I don't know. Need to figure something out. Red Star is a little, uh, little uh, freaked out right now. Aaron Rodgers stats, 61.8%, 4,250 yards. I missed the touchdowns and the interceptions, but as always, it's pretty solid since he's in 97 overall. Let's hope he can get something going here since the Bears made it look pretty easy. Wide receiver screen. Nice, big hole. Way to go, Randall. These draws, they're just not a Packer strong suit. And I wonder if it's because Eddie Lacy just doesn't have that quick acceleration or something you know Eddie Lace is kind of a solid back but I don't know I don't know he's he's set to be my back for a couple of years here so uh, I'm, I'm not looking to replace him but I don't know let's pick it up here on a third and three really close to the goal line right Aaron Rodgers back to pass better get rid of the ball pretty quickly he throws it out of bounds gonna kick a field goal Packers are going to be down by four in the second quarter. Next year, all my defensive line are just going to work on block shed. That's it. They're just going to block shed, block shed, block shed. Because maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Oh, man. Daniels got close. Good job, Morgan. Bears running backs are averaging 5.8 yards a carry right now. That's what's killing the Packers. Oh, boy. Demarius Randall cannot cover Alshon Jeffrey. What a mismatch. Demarius just gets blown by Alshon, no problem. Same time, same thing as the last game. Bears just picking on the slower Green Bay cornerbacks. Not too long ago, Jason Spriggs, the backup tackle, had a 21-yard reception, and it was a heater from Aaron Rodgers. I didn't expect him to catch it at all, being, you know, a tackle. But he caught it and got a first down on a 
third and 15, it was pretty crazy. Maybe the Packers will be able to get at least three in this uh, before the half is over. It would be nice to be 10 to 14. I hope that's what happens. I don't know. Keep you posted. Look at Aaron Rodgers doing a little dance. Doing a little dance. Gonna throw the ball. He scored himself a touchdown. It was a... Uh, well, they take a look here. Goes back to pass. Spins out of it. Goldman almost gets him. Breaks out of it. No one's in front of him. Decides to take it and run in. Touchdown. Does a little crossover in the hand. And then do a little dance. Doesn't have the belt. Should have done the belt. That would have been funny. Check this play out right here. Third and 12. Packers are struggling on offense. Linebackers for the... The Bears are just crushing the running game, but the speedy Tyreek Hill gets in the end zone for a touchdown, and the Packers are now in the lead against the 12-4 and four Bears. There's hope yet. A quick little update. Uh, Deontay Jones, Deontay Jones, I think that's how you say it, had two sacks to push the, the Bears back where they had to punt, so the Packers now have the ball and the lead. 17-14, going into the fourth quarter. Yuck, Aaron Rodgers just threw an interception, and now the Bears have the ball. Oh, I thought they were going to go down and at least get a field goal, but nope. Hopefully the defense can hold out. All right, let's pick it up right here now. The Bears are down by 10. They're on the six-yard line. It's a handoff, big hole. Ooh. Tackle him. No, no, I'm going to get through. Wow. Man, second and goal on the one. You know, five yards on the first run. That's not good at all. Down to two minutes and 25 seconds, so. Hopefully they can stop him. Sorry, I get so excited. This game is so intense. Two minutes with a 10-point lead, and I'm worried about it because, you know, I'm a Packer fan, and we don't uh, we don't count our chickens before they hatch, as we learned in 2014. All right, we're back again. Two minutes left. Third and goal. Yes, nice break up, Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde is playing backup cornerback and third, cor no, sorry, backup safety and third cornerback. So this is going to make it a seven-point game, which is pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good. So let's see what the Packers can do. If they can just run out the clock, that'd be great. AR's jersey is a little dirty. It's been a rough game for sure. The Bears and the Packers rivalry is very great. This is only... I believe the second time the Bears have ever met in the playoffs, is, or maybe that was only the NFC Championship game, I can't remember. But I know that the last one in 2010 was the case. Here we go, Eddie Lacy, first run. Bears are going to take a timeout. Minute 47, got to get a first down. So bad, so bad. Here's the next play. Head off Eddie Lacy again. All right, I sniffled. Timeout Bears, third and three. Oh boy. Oh boy. This could seal the deal, I bet, if they could get a first down. Here it goes. Here goes that third down and three yards to go. Eddie Lacy stumbles. Oh, he did not make it. He didn't make it. Fourth and inches. Oh, so close. So close. Now I got a long two minutes to go. An unreturnable punt. Max six seconds off the clock. That's good. That's good. A minute 32. Got to hold him. Got to stop him from getting into the end zone. They have no timeouts. My heart's racing. Here we go. First play. I'm going to guess that it's a pass. Just, just going to throw it out there. Now they're going no huddle. Mike Daniels, come on. Oh, deep ball. Deep, deep. 
Deep, he's caught it. Oh, that's just so bad. Packers defense is killing me. Just like that. Just like that. Could have played a little defense there, Packers. Remember that 10-point lead in two minutes? Jeez. Unbelievable. And it's in overtime, and nobody wants to win the game. Uh, the Packers went for a long field goal, and they missed it. And then um, the Bears were running, driving down the field, no problem, and uh, coughed up a fumble, so the Packers now have the ball. And if they can get a couple more yards here, maybe they can... You know, end the game finally because it's been a long game. It is. Bears are going for the win. Four minutes, 42 seconds left in overtime. Boom, it's up. And the Packers season is over. With a 10 point lead with two minutes to go, they lost the game. That's worth firing a coach. Maybe.